Hello everybody, it's Catherine from Jane Catherine on Books and happy Bank Holiday Monday. As you can see it's a beautiful sunny day here in Scarborough, we're sat out in the garden and I thought what more can you, oh leaves are dropping on me look, it's a little bit breezy. <laughs> um, what more can you do but have a book haul, I haven't done a book haul for a while and uh, thought yeah it would be lovely to share that this Bank Holiday Monday. Uh, because I'm going to sit in the garden and have a nice drink or two and read. So, here we go. First one. I'm trying to think where to, where to hold it. There we go. I think that should be about in focus. And this is uh, One Little Mistake by Emma Curtis. And this is a psychological thriller. It says you trusted your best friend and you shouldn't have. So, mm, not going to say any more about that. Lovely cover. One little mistake. Just putting them down in the box. Now, look at this beautiful one. Lovely hardback that I got as a, a bargain off Amazon. And this is Marjorie Eccles, The Firebird's Feather and uh, we've just got you know just got this lovely victorian lace top that she's got on there um, and this beautiful feathered hat and it's a late edwardian mystery uh, the period's about 1911 so sort of a year before the titanic happened and um, we've got somebody that's going to investigate her mother's murder and um, i think there's some russian influence in this as well so that would be rather interesting um, to see. On the back as well, it's just got the faces hidden again. Beautiful So, nice little hardback, late Edwardian mystery, the Firebirds Feather. Ooh, it's getting a bit breezy now. I'll probably get my hair all over, you know. Next, let's have a look at my next notes. This is called Second Born. And this is by Amy Bartle. Now, this is a new, uh, I think it's going to be a, a trilogy, I believe. And uh, this is dystopian. And um, I thought it might be similar to the selection for those of you uh, that have read the selection by Kira Cass, and that's YA and it's in a dystopian land where um, all the girls are fighting for the hand in marriage to the prince. Now this sounds like a similar world, uh, I'm not a major uh, dystopian fan as you know, uh, but I really enjoyed uh, that world in um, the selection and I thought this sounded interesting, it says the rebellion is born. Now I'm just going to read you a little bit of the blurb. Now, Roselle was born second, fate comes first. Firstborns rule society. Secondborns are the property of the government. Thirdborns are, lo are not tolerated. Long live the fate's republic. On transition day, the second child in every family is taken by the government and forced into servitude. Roselle St. Simmons' 18th birthday arrives with harsh realizations. She's to become a soldier for the fate of swords, military arm of the Republic during the bloodiest rebellion in history. And her elite firstborn mother is happy to see her go. Mmm. It's a lovely colour on there. And uh, be interested to, uh, to read that. It's a new series. I'm not sure. Let me know if you have seen this before. I've certainly not seen it around and uh, it'd be interesting to know what you guys think whether you fancy reading this and picking it up yourselves uh, or if anybody's already read it so yeah new series for us to look forward to put that down in my box now what have we got next the other mrs walker mary paulson ellis uh, this was from 2006 this is uh, mary's debut as you can see i'm already reading it i've got my got my bookmark in here and um 
this is it says on here it's a detective story with no detective it's very much character driven um what i'm getting the vibe that i'm getting so far is that it's um we're, we're going to the past of a family so we have got a family saga but it's so well written i'm not going to give too much away and i'm obviously going to do a wrap up at the end something's blown in my eye um but it's very character driven but it's very mysterious it's full of twists and turns so it's not a psychological thriller modern day psychological thriller but i do have to say if it continues in this vein it will be a five star read for me uh, the writing is amazing the twists and turns keep you on your feet keep you on your feet keep you on your toes as they say um uh, yeah the other mrs walker so be reading that later today I'm on page 232 and it's actually let's have a look 427 in total so yeah next we seem to be very full of mysteries in this hall this is the mother by Yvette Edwards another one published in 2016 and uh, oops I have to say I'm not thrilled with the cover I think it's rather boring um, you know just a cup of crack cup of tea on a table um, and so I don't like that I have to say but um, it's been well reported on the, in the mail on Sunday it says every woman's worst nightmare um, this uh, I've not read anything by Yvette Edwards but my first book I'm just a cupboard full of coats it was called uh 2011 and it was long listed for the booker prize and so she you know she's uh, an author of good standing uh, but i've not read any of her but she needs to get a cover sorted out or a publishers need to uh, i nearly passed this by but it was the blurb that uh, caught my eye it says today marcia is heading to the old bailey she's going there to do something no mother should ever have to do attend the trial of the boy accused of her son's murder and the blurb unfolds and um, you know what I read about it I like the sound of it um, so it's really the information about it that made me want to pick this up I certainly wouldn't have done by that cover so there we go <clears throat> next lie with me lie with me Sabine Durant just got some water there it says I loved every page by Claire McIntosh and uh, yeah Claire McIntosh done some good books it says a few little lives never hurt anyone right so from what I can gather from this it, um, it's it's a psychological thriller uh, it's got a slow burning plot so you know every, anybody that likes a really fast pay, paced plot that took some saying fast paced plot then perhaps this isn't the book for you but my lovely friend Lisa from over Lisa uh, from Books and Smiles she gave this a five <laughs> yes thank you Nelson um, somebody passing at the back on the playing field and he thinks he's in charge so um, hopefully he'll shut up <laughs> <laughs> no sorry about that I sorted Nelson out typical isn't it never fill with dogs and kids um, right there isn't much information on the blurb about this which I think is great because I think sometimes you have to go into uh, things without knowing too much especially thrillers but I'll just read you this little bit from the prologue it said it struck me in the night that it might have started earlier I sat up in horror and in the darkness used my fingernail to scratch the word bookshop on the inside of my forearm Ooh, uh, ooh. so yeah let's dip into that one that sounds great now next crikey this is heavy from sand and ash this is by amy Harmon, and goodness me is it heavy it's got a lovely cover there 
lovely cover and um, the back, we've got the city here on the back. So this is a World War II book and it's a love story. It's set in Italy during the German occupation and um, it's 1943 in Italy, 1943 and it says as children Eva Rossulli and Angelo Bianco were raised like family but divided by circumstance and religion. So can't wait to get to that. I do uh, like my World War II fiction and uh, just took my eye really this one so I'm looking forward to that and then uh, finally we've got the one I was this is another heavy chunky book Eliza Graham and this was written in 2015 and we're following along our World War II theme this is based in 1938 I believe um, and it's when a young German refugee has to escape Nazi Germany and is taken in by a English couple who looks after him. Um, I understand that it's taken in three time frames, so t three different times. I'm not sure if it's three times of this uh, young boy's life or whether it's the, the family itself and it says the nurse returns to a grandmother's home and starts a wonderful friendship with an old man who knew a grandmother as well so whether this boy here is the old man and he then gives us some backstory and reminisces about his time when he was escaping uh, during the war as a refugee I don't know uh, be interesting to read and find out where this story takes us but again another lovely World War II story and as you know you know I do follow the plight of refugees and I am interested in uh, refugee crises from all times not just what's going on today so yeah looking forward to that so there is uh, my book haul for this bank holiday Monday um, you know what I forget to keep saying is please subscribe uh, thank you I've had loads of lovely new subscribers over this past month and uh, yeah um, just want more and more to join our happy family so press your thumbs up press subscribe and I'll see you again next time have a lovely day bye